Hello, my friends. Today I tell you how work together Kamunda and your iPad. Kamunda can call a package and a robot a load in the orange sector. How? How do that? Through, through the RPI bridge, RPI bridge, RPI bridge, Kawimo, Kawimo, and Copkick, Copkick, uh, uh, that means the the process engine, the process engine, and and you can do an external task in Camunda, in Camunda Modeler, and in Camunda Copkin, in Camunda Process Engine. Can you execute this model? And what happened? Camunda call the package, the robot. Upload in the Orchid Sator in UiPad. Come with me and see how it is possible. In first place, you need build uh, at least uh, a package, and this package needs to be uploaded in the Orchid Sator. And this package can be put in an automation. For example, I have the automations, the package, call dispatcher UI demo, and I have other package called UI pad reframework UI demo. What's happened? In dispatcher UI demo, I have the uh, the logic to full a queue. Full a queue, call it refrain or UI demo. In the other package, UI per refrain or UI demo, I have the logic to use the queue and fill in a, in a, in app called UI demo, UI demo dot Ixi, Exe, and that is the two robots, the two robots, and I, I need to be sure that two robots, it is okay, from Arch State or UI, but from here, well, play. All right, this patch your demo that run less than an, a minute ago. So let's go with the other, other package. Let's see the queue. In this moment, I have five remaining. Remaining five, five files, five rows in the queue. Let's go. Let's see. Build transactions, all right? This one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go to the other, to the other world. Play. Start. Okay. UI put a refrain or UI demo in this moment. The orchestrator call it a package in this machine, in this laptop. And this robot, this package, do a re, uh, put the data in the queue in the uidemo.exe. Uh, user and password and put the information. Caching, console on your ship, not on your check. For five times, does the third, fourth, and fight. And close the, all right, and finish. Does your eye disappear? Okay, disappear. No. Oh. 
I have the two robots fun uh, functional in the orchestrator. All right, here we are in Kamunda Model. Create a VPN diagram and put a task in other task and finish. What happened with this task? Discuss this task. It's from type service task, right? In the other service task too. And here we call the first package and the second package. How to connect the model modeler with Karimo. All right. I need to put that information from from the Kawimo. What what part in Kawimo here? Settings, All right? Here it's the API. All right? This is ID and organization. What happened here? This API keys that information can be enabled for you through an email received from the Kawimo team. But how Kawimo team send an email to you? That's happened. I request, I explain right that. Please give me a API key. I am Kamunda Enthusiast Developer, please. And that Kawimo people send an email. Very, very nice people. So, open catalog. What catalog? Right. I need the dispatcher ID more. And in the other task, I have the UI peripheral or UID, right? And I need save that model, also put an RPI. UI pad, right? And the process API UI pad demo, right? And I start the process engine, the copy. Here it's a logic with a demo. Upload that model to the to the server, right? Here it's API UI by demo. So I need other thing I need RPI bridge RPI bridge it's a jar it's a jar download from the Camunda website and what happened with this the RPI in Camunda VPN API bridge I can connect the Camunda with the UI but through the application UIML. What's happened with that? I have here the license key. The license key is on your email when you register, like a enterprise edition trial. They, the common the people send a license. What's other? I have local host, that's topics, that website, the name of robot, the name of account, the folder where that put your package, organization ID, your user and your key. And that's meet fully. And well, I find the user key where I find here. Here. I have API access. Click it and put the information in the application AML. All right. 
So I have the first MJ upload. I need I need a upload LPI bridge. Right? How how load LPI bridge? It's a jar, so I put in the path file and put Java jar and enter. If your configuration it's okay. At final, the last sentences say it external. External tags, listener start. So I have Kawimo catalog. Right, I have a RPA modeler connect to Kawimo and use that catalogs, right? I allow that model to the server and the other task was start this model. I need to start this model, all right? This is the model. I start from the model, all right? Start. What happened here? Here is the UI path. In this moment, in this moment, this is an external task, an external task. The LPA bridge do all for you. Connect with the with the orchestrator and la and launch this robot. Let's see. You right. You right. All right. Put second. Three, four, five, and close it. All right. Right, that's the key story. First, second, third. Uh, but what happened here in the CMD? It's processing, processing the packages. All right, has completed the process enjoy. Refresh, and I complete that. Here it is how RPI Bridge help Camunda to connect with the orchestrator UiPath. Bye, friends.